school and other historically black colleges have been the heartbeat in the black community. From Cheney University in 1837 to Charles Drew University in 1966, HBCUs have paved the way towards economic, political, and educational freedom that many African Americans would have been able to find. Over the course of history, HBCU graduates have forged a strong beat for HBCUs and African Americans to follow by becoming judges, educators, military officers, politicians, and entertainment moguls. Each of you must recognize the beat in HBCU community. So I'm asking you, you must first to you must first learn to appreciate and understand the history of the drum. So today I brought a few of my friends who will share that history of and the beat with you. But before I introduce them, I would like to remind you of our upcoming field trip on tomorrow to the Black College Expo. I know each of you have researched the college that you wish to attend. So I'm asking you to bring your A game because I know for a fact that some of these colleges will offer admission and scholarship on the spot. <coughs> well, y'all can step aside because you already know I'm getting that band scholarship from the Grammy-winning Tennessee State University. Yeah. <laughs> all right, all right, settle down, settle down. My special guest is the founder and director of the Atlanta Drum Academy. He attended Morris Brown College, one of the four HBCUs in Atlanta University Center. You may know him best by the movie Drumline with Nick Cannon. Oh, we got a star in the building, y'all. If you don't pipe down, you won't be in the building. <laughs> I just got excited when you said Nick Cannon. Oh, no. <laughs> Okay, class, without further ado, I would like to introduce Mr. James Rouse and the Atlanta Drum Academy. Hello, hello, can y'all hear me? My check. <laughs> All right, so y'all see me on the movie drum line? No, don't lie, you ain't never didn't see me. <laughs> I'm not even gonna hype it up like I have a main part, all right? I just played my part. Um, once again, my name is James Riles. I am a graduate of the best college university in the world, Boris Brown College. Thank you, thank you, thank you, Julia. No matter what you heard or what you saw on the news, we are the best university in the world. And by far, I might be a little biased, but the best marching band in the world as well. The Marching Wolverines, as you did see in the movie Drumline. I was told today to give a little bit of information about the drum and the beat. First of all, the drum is the way that I was able to go to college. I received a scholarship from playing the drums. I got my first drum set when I was five years old. All right, anybody, any one of y'all five? How old are you, you five? Okay, don't worry about it. <laughs> well, anyway, I got my first drum set when I was around their size. Yeah. Um, my parents had to take out a loan to get me a drum set because they couldn't quite afford to come out of cash, so you know they had to get a loan and get those high interest rates, but it paid off. Those high interest rates is what got what you see right here on the stage right here, the Atlanta Drum Academy. I'm from a small town called Nichols, Georgia. Anybody else in here from Nichols? You see how powerful the drum is? If it weren't for the drum, you would have never heard of Nichols, Georgia. <laughs> from. Um, well, anyway, my whole town, we had one red light. So, as you can tell, there wasn't much to do. Either you played drums or you played cards, one of the two. 
And I don't know how to play cards. I don't know how to play talk, spades, none of that. But I do know how to play the drums. And that's how I got my way to college. While I was at Morris Brown, I was, um, I became a section leader. Um, my last year, I was a student instructor, which means I was a student, but I was instructing the drum line. So I mean that last year, I got an even bigger scholarship, so I was able to leave Morris Brown with a zero balance. So I don't owe them any money. Amen. But I do owe Stanley May some money, so if y'all want to hit my cash out after we leave here, if you want to help me pay Stanley May back, that'll be great. But the power of the drum and the beat, the drum has been used for, well, back in the day was used for a lot of different things. Um, slaves use drums to communicate with each other. So you know, of course, they started hating, so they took the drums away from them so they couldn't communicate with each other. They also used the drum back in the day when they used to have the wars. You know, they used to put the band in front of the people shooting the guns. Yeah, if they would ask me to go do that, I didn't know how to play drums that day. <laughs> Don't you know how to play drums? No, I said drumsticks. Chicken, that's what I was talking about, chicken. But anyway, they use that, they use the people in the band to march beside the, the soldiers. That's another way they use the drums. They use drums to communicate, um, especially if it was long distance. Back in the day, they didn't have cell phones. They didn't have text messages, um, text messages. So they couldn't call and tell somebody that bad weather was coming. All right, so they would use a drum to communicate. Um, the last thing I want to say is that everybody in here has a drum. Everybody has a drum. Do this for me. If you do this real quick, then I'll be out your way and I'll stop talking. All right, everybody raise your right hand. All right. Repeat after me. I pledge allegiance. No, I'm just playing. All right. Take your right hand and put it right here over your heart. That's your drum. Mm -hmm. Now, what you choose to do with your drum is up to you. It's between you and God. So you gotta tap into God and ask him, God, what do you want me to do with my drum? Mm. Your drum may be a doctor, you may be a lawyer, you may be a teacher, you may be a preacher. But one day this drum will unfortunately stop beating. All right. But when that drum starts, stops beating, will the world still be able to hear your drum even if you're not here? Will the world still be able to hear your drum even if you're not here? So take some time to find out, talk to God and ask him, what do you want me to do with my drum? Mm. Without further ado, I present to you Atlanta Drum Academy. I got to get you a Morris Brown sweater too. Everybody smile. Everybody smile. <laughs> All right, put your head back down. <laughs> 